My name is Brad Dom. I work here at Cub Crafters. I'm part of the customer facing team at Cub Crafters. Mark, I think you and I have known each other. The first time I remember meeting you was a story that Cub Crafters we were doing and we were talking about Indian motorcycles and, and carbon cubs. That was a few years ago. So it's really great to have you back here. Uh, today we flew this airplane. Uh, this blue airplane is a second generation carbon cub kit airplane. We call that model the EX2. It was built by an amateur builder out of Seattle. His name was Kirk Ledoux, and he did a great job building the airplane. He was moving to a four-place airplane for his family, and so we bought the airplane back from him for a Cub Crafters demo and test airplane. So that's what we got to go fly today. The EX2 is 1865 pound gross weight Cub. Um, as a amateur built kit airplane that the amateur builder assembles themselves, we ship the whole airplane in a box. They do the assembly work. The same model of airplane is also available through our builder assist program as a Carbon Cub FX2. And the FX2, the amateur builder, comes here to the factory and they help with the fabrication of the airplane. The end result is the same. So this airplane, we call it the second generation of the Carbon Cub. What makes it the second generation of the Carbon Cub is that it has the G-series flaps and the G-series ailerons. The ailerons, the hinge point, is down an inch and a half lower than the original Carbon Cub. So when the pilot deploys the ailerons, it creates a gap, spills high pressure air from underneath the wing, over the top of the flap, it makes the flaps more effective. The ailerons came out of the X-Cub program, that's where they were first developed, and these ailerons are aerodynamically balanced. Cub crafters found that the faster we went with Cub airplanes, the heavier the ailerons got at higher speeds. So these ailerons are aerodynamically balanced. There's a big cove behind the aileron. The airflow stays attached to the aileron all the time, so it does not create a huge negative pressure area behind the aileron when it's at full deflection, which is makes ailerons heavier the faster you go. So G-series flaps and ailerons, 1,865 gross, pound gross weight as compared to 1,320 gross weight for the original LSA Carbon Cub. This one has three by three landing gear on it. It's got 31 inch Tundra tires. It's got big beefy 1.75 inch uh, Grobe uh, wheels and brakes or 1.75 inch brakes on Grobe wheels. This one has Acme Aero suspension. But what really makes this airplane special is firewall forward. Firewall aft, uh, EX2, it's a, a known airplane. There are probably a hundred of them out there flying in the world. This airplane here has a new power plant firewall forward. We've taken our very popular CC363i constant speed prop engine, we've lightened up quite a bit for a fixed pitch application, which is what this airplane is. The installed weight on this is only seven pounds heavier than our CC340, which is a carbureted fixed pitch engine. But for that seven pounds, you get a ground adjustable variable pitch propeller, you get fuel injection, which you can't see with the cowling on, instead of carburation, you get more horsepower, and you get all around better performance on the airplane. So this is an engine that our customers have been excited about and asking for for a long time. It's a fixed pitch engine, lightweight, uh, but it's fuel injected. We hadn't done that before with the Carbon Cub series of airplanes. Supply chain challenges with COVID, we had trouble getting some of the 340 engines. And so we had this engine here in development. We accelerated its, its development to give our kit customers a choice of an engine that would replace the 340, give them some of the things they had asked for in terms of features, the fuel injection, but still in a lightweight package. That was what was behind bringing this new engine to market. So the interior on a Carbon Cub is four inches wider at shoulder height than a legacy Super Cub. It would be considered a wide body Super Cub if it was a Super Cub. The door is about 40% bigger in overall plan form, allows for easier ingress, easier egress. Uh, the door is composite, closes up just like that. The window is a full opening window. It can be opened in flight. The door can be opened in flight. Other than that, this is a very basic interior for one of our, for one of our aircraft. The side panels are composite. They're lightweight. There's some net pockets right here for sticking your phone in. We've got a fuel selector valve. The stick is lightweight titanium, and the panel on this airplane is a basic VTX panel. This is a day VFR setup, single comm radio, a Garmin GTR 200, and uh, 
ton of capability for a pretty modest price point. We should start receiving these engines from Lycoming this month in September, and we should be shipping them out to kit customers in October.